Ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief is here. And we may have no other option but to acknowledge him. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Three plus years at the top of WWE for this man. Nobody has been able to defeat the Tribal Chief. A reign of epic proportions. Dozens have tried, dozens have failed. Think about this. Hall of Famers, main eventers, crossover stars. None of them have been able to defeat Roman Reigns. You can love him or you can hate him, but you must acknowledge him. A certified GOAT, Reigns is now an unstoppable force. This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. And his opponents first from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds, the NXT Champion, Ilya Dragunov! Absolutely unbridled aggression every time Dragunov competes.
With that trademark unflinching gaze, there is no telling what's going through the mind of the czar of WWE. Taking on a competitor like Dragunov is always unnerving. He's a true alpha male. Braun Breaker, ready to dominate. And from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker! We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. Just look at Breaker's face. The intensity of this man is palpable. Braun looks ready to completely annihilate the opposition. And things getting started for these three in this triple threat match. This one's going to test these superstars' creativity. It's going to take outside-of-the-box thinking to prevail against two other competitors. He's got the answer for that one. He got whipped into that corner. Setting up for something here. Oh, he's able to battle out of the grips to some safety. Boom! Oh, able to counter. Oh, this is going to be good. Damn power bomb! I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. Yeah. Oh, the power! I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. And Reigns got turned around there. Reigns turns that around. Chop! Setting up. Suplex. I can't believe it. Somehow able to find the leverage and get it done. So much damage inflicted. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Now we're talking. This sledgehammer might be what decides this match. Now, this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean carte blanche to do whatever you want to someone, but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense. So be creative. Big time power bomb. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. My goodness, that's insulting. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Oh, no. shoulders down, this could be it. Oh, and he breaks up the pin. Back of the neck getting worked over. Big knee to the midsection. And that intensity of bronze got tapered down a bit there. He can do it here. No shoulders up at two. And frustration might be starting to set in. Hits him with the counter. Plants him. Delivers the knee. Oh, that'll turn your skin red. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. Jarring impact. Oh, no. Now that he has the kendo stick, I definitely do not want to be in his path of destruction. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. 
Driven down face first. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. The Tribal Chief has acquired the target. Locked, loaded, here it comes. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Oh, crack. The Tribal Chief has it cinched in. There's a... He's flailing, desperately trying to get out of this situation. Oh, great counter. Compromised position here. Straight impact down the throat. Oh. Carefully measuring. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. He's heading back to the ring. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Nasty stomp to finish it off. With the counter. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. Placed in the corner. Features off their face. Uh, way across the top row. And he's able to fight Dragon on off. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Oh. He thinks he has it. And he stops the count. Vicious. And look at this now, yes. He needs to find an escape prop. Nice. What a spear by Reigns. No coming back from Reigns after that. Oh, what a close line. Forceful for the pin and the win. Yes. The shoulder up. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Returning to the ring now. Carefully placed stop to the arm. And again, dragging off. That is what it takes to top a range. is just ahead. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. The noise surging through this arena is ridiculous. It's the echoes of the universe. This is it. And gets the win, beating the odds in this triple threat. Tremendous victory in this triple threat match. I cannot even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that. All I can really say is that they put on a triple threat match for the ages.
Here comes Angel and Umberto. Fighting for their family name, and the ladies love it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Umberto, representing Los Lotharios from Monterrey, Mexico. Weighing in at 205 pounds, Angel Garza! The Latin lovers, Los Lotharios, now trying to prove they can be lovers and fighters. A pair of high-flying heartbreakers. Now they know how to get it done in the ring and save the partying for later. And they're hoping to have a lot to celebrate tonight. I don't see how Los Lotharios can win this match if they can't stop making eyes at the crowd. Oh, just you wait. They know in the ring it's time for business, not pleasure. <laughs> Put on your smile and eat your positivity up because here comes Xavier Woods. The question is, is Woods out here to compete or to play one of his six ridiculous instruments? Hey, can multitask, Corey. Don't be a hater. And his opponent, representing the New Day from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods is a superstar who's dominant with a video game controller. He can rock a mic and then handle his business in the ring. Yeah, Woods moves around like the editor cheat code, but Woods is for real, and Woods is as tough as they get. Born in a barrel of butcher knives and raised in a forest fire. Do, do you know what that means, Byron? Because I still haven't figured it out. Yeah, it sounds cool. The bell means it's official, and it's go time for Xavier Woods. Woods prides himself on being a big-time player who knows how to get the job done. I could use less of the trombone on a daily basis, but that doesn't mean I don't respect what Woods does in that ring and the dues he paid to get here. Woods lives and breathes this business, without a doubt. Which is why Woods is looking to further establish himself as a top-flight singles competitor here tonight. And on the other end is Angel, who I think a lot of people expect big things from. And rightfully so. Angel is sports entertainment royalty, a multiple-time champion, and frankly, he's a fountain of charisma. It's not often you get a superstar with this kind of raw potential. Xavier Woods definitely one of the more underrated superstars and athletes here in WWE. Some could even call him the underdog in the matchup. Which is why Woods needs to stake his claim in this match. He needs to get aggressive and go to work. Toss back into the ring. German suplex. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't sit in too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. This one is headed outside, guys. Ooh -hoo. He was waiting for him to make his move. Angel didn't exactly come up big against that one. Angels put a stop to that. What a tech in the room. Save him there. But will he be able to last much longer? Counter. And now there's an opening. Springboard up. Dodged right on cue. Bulldog. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Oh, that got turned around on Woods. Drop kick. He can end it here. He's determined to keep this matchup going. They got the pack. Uh oh. This could do it. Gets reversed. Is it enough? And he kicks out at two. Just barely, but it counts. Going right after the neck. Neck break. And he goes for the pin. Kick out close to three. You have
have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Lands an elbow. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Angel showing his instinct. And a basement drop kick. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Drop kick. Beautiful. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, Xavier Woods looks to be busted open. Uh-oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Butterfly pile driver. And there goes Angel. Outstanding maneuver. Crisp execution, perfect timing. You can see the potential turning into reality right in front of you. These two trading counters, an absolute master class. All right, cinched in. This could be it. Oh, package drive. Angel is in the worst way. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your And Xavier Woods, very impressive, guys. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxon, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies. Always imaginative and always impressive. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia. Been successful her entire career from Australia to NXT, now ready to conquer WWE. You know, it gives Indy Hartwell that advantage is her incredible strength. She almost always has the size advantage inside the ring. Has already seen so much success in NXT and WWE. Yeah, but Cole, Indy Hartwell is only getting better. Well, here comes the girl with the shiniest wizard. A competitor that's shown she possesses tremendous heart from bell to bell. A true inspirational superstar. And from the Welch Valleys, Tegan Knox. Well, Tegan was betrayed by her former best friend, Dakota Kai, in the first ever women's war games match. All that says to me is that Tegan Knox simply isn't a very good best friend. Saxton? Saxton? I deserve my comment. Saxton? A feel-good story every time Tegan Knox competes.
Here we go. The powerhouse, Indy Hartwell, ready for action. Impressive athleticism, strong resilience, and now with the confidence to go along with all of it. This should be an interesting showing for Indy Wrestling. And she better be prepared because Tegan Knox is coming for her. Eyes on the prize, as focused as ever. Knox is no longer waiting for opportunities to come to her. Left by the turnbuckles. Bulldog! She heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. Ooh! All the way out. Sit down, Gord Buster. Three. She's taking things to ringside. All eyes are on Indy right now. To the outside. Yeah. This could get wild. Indy Hartwell is still relatively green when it comes to action in the WWE ring. How is she going to stack up against this opponent, Corey? Experience is a factor, Cole, but raw talent always prevails. Indy Hartwell's innate ability has proven her to be a top superstar no matter where she steps through the ropes. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Down on the neck with reckless abandon. Back in the ring now. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind. Inverted DDT. <laughs> and she goes for the pin. She breaks the count quick. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. She's beginning to flag a little. Looking from the middle rope. Oh, a splash! And Tiga Knox is taking control in this match. Hartwell needs to find that spark. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Taking it to the floor. What's she gonna do? And that was an effective attack, guys. Well scouted reversal there. She scores big with the counter. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Taking this to the floor. Her face first, Flapjack. Well measured. She'll take things into the ring. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, man. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Knee strike connects. A devastating blow delivered to Hartwell there. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. And she denies Knox. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Getting back into the ring. She's back just in time. Thank goodness I did not want to count out. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. You can't prepare your face for that. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Taking flight. Diving body splash. There's two. She was close to the end there. The end was in sight. Up and down. What a slam. from Indy. Push! Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Knife edge chop echoing 
through the arena. Knew what was coming there. A oh, big knockdown. And another one. This is something else. We could be moments away from Indy's doom. Knox drops her opponent down to one knee. Then the shiniest wizard connects. Critical danger for Indy. And Tegan comes up big with a win. Here is your winner, Tegan Knox. Indy Hartwell falling short tonight, taking the loss. But I don't think Indy is going to let this loss start sowing the seeds of doubt again. The LWO is here, representing the culture, representing a legacy. That's what they're all about. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 365 pounds, Joaquin Wilde. Paying homage to the original founding fathers of the LWO. This is a team that represents their Latino culture openly and proudly. They become a family of sorts, Michael. They win together, they lose together, but they always fight together. The most extravagant, flamboyant, and tastiest team in all of WWE. Pretty deadly has arrived. Say it with me, gentlemen. Yes, boy. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 357 pounds, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson. Pretty deadly. Dominated the NXT UK and NXT Tag Divisions as soon as they arrived. These two have a certain style and a je ne sais quoi opponents just lack. Proof that looks can be deceiving. Oh, come on, Cole. Don't judge a book by its gorgeous cover. You try, Cole. Yes, boy. Come on, Cole. Please. Don't say it, Michael. Don't say it.
Here we go, the LWO ready to compete here in this one. Such a talented group of superstars coming together for a common goal. They want to represent the Latino culture, want to represent a legacy in this business. The LWO is bigger than just these teammates, and that's what they want everyone to know. Yeah, looking around at the crowd, at all the fans wearing LWO shirts representing this team proudly, that's what it's all about. And they're about to get hit with a real touch of class in the form of Pretty Deadly. Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, you love to see them, and they love to be seen. Champions everywhere they go with champion good looks. One more time, guys. Yes, boy! He turns it around on Prince. He's been placed in the corner now. And Del Toro may have felt that coming. Oh, man. Got the single arm under him. Suplex! Oh, kick connects. Answering back. Will this be enough? And he has the shoulder up before two. Could be in search of a second win now. Right forearm. There's a tag. There's a tag. The assisted gut buster. He is just reeling from that offense. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. And planted them with a well executed DDT. A snap mare. Just establishing dominance. Oh, Ooh. what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Oh, walloped by a huge club. Oh, and he answers back on Cruz. In the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. This could be it. Watch out! Running, swinging, neck breaker! Oh my god, inverted Frankensteiner! And Kit's struggling a bit. Such physicality from Joaquin Wilde. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Stopped him in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Oh my, what a splash! Now that'll do some serious damage. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. Kid is in a distressing spot. Joaquin is firmly in the driver's seat. Great 
counter by Wilson. Oh, fighting nasty there. Charring European uppercut. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Double axe handle. Wow. Incredible impact. Able to reverse. Flipping the script on him there. There's a tag. Tag made here. Oh, this is going to be bad. And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. Big splash. That catch is wild looking. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Just kick to the spine. Goodness gracious. Tagging his partner in now. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. and Elton Prince proving with this win just why they are pretty deadly. And if I'm in the tag division, I'm hoping with all my heart I don't come across these two in the future.
The It Couple is here. The most iconic husband and wife team in all of WWE, according to them. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Maurice from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds. The Miz. Miz and Maurice are one of the most dominant pairs the entertainment world has ever seen. In the ring, on TV, on the red carpet, they are always a force to be reckoned with. They certainly do know how to keep themselves in front of the camera and soak up the spotlight. No denying that, Maurice and The Miz have made themselves inescapable. We are graced by the presence of two all-time great competitors. They inspire each other to be better. I'm inspired because they are their best when they are at each other's side. It also makes the cheating a little easier. Adonis has arrived, and he is ready to set it off. And his opponent from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 209 pounds, Ashante the Adonis. A veteran of the United States Army, a college football standout, this Adonis is one tough dude. Yeah, definitely a man who is ready for combat. Adonis is always doing big things. And he says, tonight we should watch and take notes. And we've got Ashante the Adonis set for action. I'll tell you one thing, this young man does not struggle in the confidence department. Yeah, Ashanti is a brash, in-your-face, trash talker extraordinaire. But you can't discount what he can do in that ring. Even if his mouth sometimes writes checks, his butt can't quite catch. You're right, Byron. Ashanti is quite an impressive athlete. Hopefully he focuses more on that tonight. Taking flight! Oh, misses the mark! Ooh! Taking Ooh. aim on the arm. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Lands the crossbody. There's some power behind that punch. Oh, not pretty. With a speedy, athletic superstar like Ashanti Adonis, we talk about this strategy a lot because it's effective. You've got to slow him down. Grind Ashanti down and bring the pace of the match to a crow. And this is basically your match now. Down on the windpipe. Makes the cover. And he powers out. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Ooh. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. He's absorbed some damage already. Yeah, as Miz was clearly laser focused there. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Ooh, kick right to the gut. 
And what's this manager looking for under the ring? She has no business down there. Shoulders are down. Only a one count before the kick out. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Oh, my neck breaker. Miz counters with an attack. Countered it just in time. His shoulder tackle in the corner. What a drop kick. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Catches the leg. Look at this, going counter for counter. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. The Miz just getting beat down. Ashanti's proven to be quite the force. Lands the elbow. right now this fight has to be seen to be believed who will prevail true greats are at their best when their backs are against the wall he leaves the ring but he could lose this match by count out You're looking to crush the hamstring oh. another one a hamstring. The Miz now in complete control. He's been slowing down the pace here and more importantly, slowing down Ashanti. Looks more like Ashanti struggling to pick things back up. From the top. Are you kidding me? That's gotta be it. win for the Miz. Ashanti made him feel himself a little too much. He needs to get his head in the game here. Maybe time for him to turn the swag down a bit and focus up.
Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa. This is DIY. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 400 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. DIY. Ciampa. Gargano, two men who went to war in NXT and came out the other side as an even stronger team. They've made a bet together and against each other, and it's brought them as close as a team can be. Now we're about to see a new chapter in their history tonight. It's Viking time! And their opponents, accompanied by Valhalla, at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders! The Viking Raiders approach the ring every night as if it's a battlefield, and they fight accordingly. Yeah, holding back is apparently not in the Viking playbook. But intimidation certainly is. These warriors are a scary sight. If there's glory to be won, they'll burn this whole place to the ground to get it. For many, the day the Viking Raiders graced their arena was the most important day of their life. But for the Raiders... It was Monday. The Viking Raiders looking to make their presence known in this match here tonight. Uh, I don't think their presence is ever questioned, Cole. From their entrance to the Ring of the Bell, the Viking Raiders are all gas and no brakes. I don't know if anyone can match the sort of intensity that Eric and Ivar possess. If he had let me finish, Corey, that's where I was going. But to add to our point, it's not just the imagery that establishes the Raiders' presence, but also their unbelievable athleticism. But they're facing a team with endless reserves of fighting spirit. D-I-Y. We know Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano will fight with every fiber of their being. Their hearts well documented, and Gargano and Ciampa will fight until the final beat. Face first into the middle turnbuckle. Yeah. Able to reverse that one. Whoa. Oh my gosh, what impact. Guys, they're getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. And wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? A manager grabbing anything under the ring is beyond unfair. It's just downright evil. Tough position to be caught in here. Uh, he can do it here. Gets the shoulder up after one. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Getting him into the corner. Gargano with the snap mare. Followed by the single leg drop kick. Tag made. What's in store here? 
Drop toe hold. Oh, and Enziguri. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. That aggressive style of the Viking Raiders being made kind there. Yeah, some courageous offense from Johnny Gargano. Two count just kicks out. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Headed up, he's thinking big. Flying. Neck breaker all the way from the top. And Eric escapes danger. Placing them into the corner. Close fist connects. He's tagging out. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. And a feel. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person and make a statement. Catches a punch. Fighting back with a counter. This is just disrespectful. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Oh, what an elbow. He eludes the contact. Boom, what a right. Big time move coming up. Bam. What more can these two superstars do to each other? Whatever it they takes want. to win. The Avalanche big floor. Cover. There's two. He kicks out at two. He just won't give up. Vicious knee. There's a tag. Into the 
corner now. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Oh, I don't think Ivar enjoyed taking that attack head on. Great focus shown there from Champa. Team coming. This is going to be nasty. Around the rock. This spells trouble. Here he goes for the win. And he makes the save for his team. Oh, no. Trapping the arm. A vicious stomp to the hand. He must have seen that coming. He went right into that turnbuckle. Ooh, what an elbow. The barrage of elbows over and over again. Ooh, hey. solid contact there. Champa skillfully counters. Taking a moment to get pumped. Tag. Oh, that'll give you a whiplash. And Champa was right on target. Cover. Oh, come on, ref. Get some control. Shut up, Byron. Solid punch. At this juncture, you have to wonder if these superstars can keep up this pace. They're certainly being taken into the deep waters now. Side and back to the mat. Oh, the rear super kick! Down behind, nasty. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. What a clothesline! Ouch! Champa looking to end this right here, right now. Fairy tale ending. Eric looks out of it. Two. Sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. And Champa clearly furious that that didn't end things. I sense we're about to see an even more dangerous Champa now. Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh! Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Play with a taunt from Gargano. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. And he tosses him back in now. A well timed dodge. Waist lock applied in the corner. Check out this power. Overhead, belly to belly. We're gonna see it. Gut wrench power bomb. This match is brutality starting to show on him. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Drop kick. 
Wow. Tag is made, and here we go. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Right, here we go. Inverted DDT. Lights out. And Champa has had an incredible response throughout this matchup. So relentless is the black card. He will not stop fighting until his last breath. Intent. Johnny Gargano. Gargano escaped. Uh, he's in complete control. Opponent has no. And he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. Oh, Gargano's been busted open. The WWE are standing at attention, completely entranced by this matchup now. Can't miss action taking place in front of them. Nobody wants to blink. They do not want to miss a second of the action at this point. Well, that didn't go as Johnny designed. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Just breaking down the opponent. Put it in the corner now. Ooh, right to the midsection. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Solely focused on punishing the leg. <laughs> Up and down. Boom. Beautiful. And that's gonna impair Ivar even more. Ivar might need to find space to regroup. A tag made. Double team coming. This is going to be nasty. Around the rock. Ivar with a big time move. He keeps his team in the match. Oh! We may be moments away from Gargano's demise. Looks under his go behind. And a German suplex. He creates some separation with power. Eric's able to dodge that. Oh my gosh! Oh, what a suplex. How in the world do these superstars? What's he gonna do here? Johnny Gargano. Cross face applied. Submission move. Johnny Wrestling doing what he does best. Oh. His opponent prying his way out. What a great escape. with the loss. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory.
The Scottish warrior has arrived. A multi-time world champion and a Royal Rumble winner. And to this day, one of the toughest fighters in WWE. The man, once known as the Chosen One, always doing what he can to claim and prove he deserves a top spot in WWE. Well, Drew has reached the mountaintop and knows how good that rarefied air can be. And he will do anything to stay there. Well, we know Drew is rarely ever in a good mood. And I got a feeling he's about to take out that bad mood on someone here tonight. Prepare to see a heavy, hard-hitting affair. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. Drew Gulak is a walking compendium of wrestling knowledge. Well, that's how Gulak balances the scales against bigger opponents. Ready to outsmart and outfight anybody. Drew Gulak is a true student of the ring. He studied the history of this business, studied all of the all-time greats, and he's convinced all that homework gives him a leg up on any opponent. It's not just all that studying that makes Gulak dangerous. It's how viciously he applies it. Believe me, Drew Gulak is as cunning as they come. You're not wrong about that. If Gulak has done his homework correctly, he could be hard to top in this match. Let's hope he's ready to take on Drew McIntyre, a superstar whose face is next to the definition of determined. There is no one who exemplifies the Kimura, the Kimura. Kimura lock a plop. Hey, look at that. Drew is known as the Scottish Warrior. He loves a good fight and is not the slightest bit shy about letting his counterparts know exactly. Oh, Kimura, the Kimura! Uh, Kimura lock. He is doing whatever he can to break the Kimura, and he does! Close line. Good so, lord. So effective. Oh, man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Draped over the top rope. Uh oh. What are they going to do here? How about a little? Oh, the gory special. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Oh, man. Almost lights out. Set bumper. Press oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. And a carefully measured knee drop. And McIntyre's need to fight being met in kind there. Yeah, Gulak put a little extra oomph into that one. And this is just next level brutality. Just going all out with every blow. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Uh-oh. Oh, to the back of the neck. What a lariat. McIntyre counters with power. Close line. What impact. And he
he throws the opposition back into the ring. Nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Powerful contact by Gulak. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Just stretching out the arm. Focusing on the shoulder like that can be felt all the way to your fingertips. Just disrespectful. The amount of blood is getting bad, guys. McIntyre needs to think about his career. Into a neckbreaker! A no-frills assault by Gulak. That's what a true master of his craft is capable of. Two count, digging deep for a kick out. And you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Look at this. Oh, shoulder, elbow, all affected with. Uh oh. I oh, had that well scouted. And McIntyre puts a quick stop to the most. Oh! That might be all Drew needs. Makes the cover. He kicks out somehow. Unbelievable presence of mind. I thought he was unconscious. And where McIntyre goes from here is unknown. Drew is accustomed to putting out so many men with that maneuver. Able to capitalize on McIntyre's mistake. Rubbing blood. Oh, and a knockout punch. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh. Right into the ring post. What impact. And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Oh, they clutch their opponent's wrist, and look at this. How humiliating, just kicks to the face. Punishing stretch. McIntyre must be getting phased by this attack. Drew's getting cut off at the knee. Gulak looking for the Gulak. Good night. Give up now. Swallow your pride and submit. Just hang. Body breaks free, but will the damage prove to be irreparable? the opposition looking for a high risk high reward situation from the top Tightening down i think we are witnessing a career altering moment for these superstars guys the spoils will only go to the victor and i have a feeling we're close to finding out exactly who that will be the countdown is on gentlemen matches I've ever seen and he deserves to celebrate this victory hang on look out behind you this superstar just realizing who's here and we've got a, a tense stare down Well, the team's going to decide who actually starts this match as the legal partner. 
Seems to be a little trouble in paradise before the opening bell. Okay, it looks like we finally have got it settled here. Here There's we go. The bell. Some dissension among the ranks, guys. Well, if these two can't get on the same page, there is no chance of success. Bell South going for an early Makes pin. Gets reversed. Shoulders down. Makes a cover. One. Trying to steal one here. Trying to end it. And that only gets a one count. Already having to expel so much unnecessary energy this early on. German suplex. Oh, impressive counter. Looking wobbly in the corner. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Kick to the back. Tag switching it up. Golly. Oh, my goodness. That's a tag. Double team coming. I hip toss. Double kick connects. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. They're playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Just breaking down the opponent. She's pushed into the corner. Oh, not done yet. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. Oh, stop right to the hand. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. She's feeling the hurt here. She had it scouted. Needed a midsection and a kick to the back. Just stretching out the arm. Damage to the shoulder is definitely going to hamper your ability to fight. She was clearly waiting for that. Getting set up for something in the corner. Running Bulldog. Is it enough here? And shoulders up before a count of one. Not even a near fall there. <laughs> Wrist lock. Climbing the ropes. Into the arm drag. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Quick take down there. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. Spin kick to the midsection. The referee counting, urging them to get in the ring. Makes it back just in time. Ooh, that was really close. That unraveled on JC. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Rolling elbow right on the mark. And she's stunned in the corner. Whipped right into the knees. It's got to be demoralized. Can she keep her down? It's never easy dealing with that sort of quarreling, but the victory remained in sight. In the WWE, you can never lose sight of the victory, Saxton.
That resiliency is something that ensures your legacy. Hopefully this victory will help them bury the hatchet and look towards the future. Waiting the start of this matchup, and uh, look who's down here talking trash. The jawing has already begun. Oh, he's had enough of it. These two going at it on the outside of the ring. This match hasn't even officially started yet. And not like they really care. And we need to get some officials out here to get some semblance of order. This match is off to a rocky start after some blows were exchanged before the bell. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. There is no reason to go through with this match after that brawl before the bell. Oh, I can think of one very good reason. It's called pride. If you had any yourself, you might understand. Corey, any advice for taking on a tough competitor like Apollo Crews? Keep Apollo where you can see him at all times. Between his agility and willingness to bend the rules, anytime he's out of sight, you could be in big trouble. Beautiful Enzagiri by Apollo. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. He went right into that turnbuckle. That gets reversed on Apollo. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. Ah, what? And here's an early cover. Shoulder is up after two. Almost got it done so soon. Hip drop to the gut. Apollo fends that off. Escapes in a nick of time. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Oh, this, what a headbutt. Wicked clothesline. Outside, what's the plan here? Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh man! Bam! Down he goes. Oh, he retaliates. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Nothing fancy there. Spinning your Anagi. Whip back into the ring. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Kick after kick after kick. Ouch. We're gonna kick the features off their face. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. That attack was a cacophony of catastrophe from Gunther. Cruz resolve might be wavering here. This is how you mitigate Apollo's rule-breaking tactics by going on the offensive and keeping him in your sights. Oh, chin-breaking uppercut. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, this, what a headbutt. Climbing up to the top now. To the sky. Frog splash from Apollo Crews. Is it enough? Two. Just gets the shoulder up. He thought he had it. Out of the way in time. 
Gunter from behind, looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Rear naked choke now locked in. It's, does he have the wherewithal to break the submission? Yes. Yes, he does. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. Apollo Crews has him up. matches just mocking their opponent right now Tope. the ring general showing off his power a power bomb and Apollo's laid out oh kicks out kicks out man oh man what resilience he's got to be running on instinct alone it is just unbelievable and Guther's tank has got to be running low guys I don't know what his game plan is now set up in the corner of the ring Gunther with his opponent all the way up. Power bomb. It's all Gunther's for the taking. Gunther secures the win. Here is your winner, Gunther! What a match. What a win. You're not exaggerating. It was an explosive match from before the bell even rang. Sometimes your plans work, sometimes they don't. Their plan of attack just didn't have the desired effect.